Hello everybody, this is Jesus and me forever. Um, I put a video up yesterday, thought I was putting it on this channel, and I put it on one of my other channels. So I'm coming back through and doing this again. Um, so many things have happened. Um, so many things. Terry's doing very good. Jonathan is doing good. He's still having some issues with his eyes. But um, other than that, he's doing really well. Um, the rest of us, it's kind of been crazy. I went through the school year, finished it up. Um, as a para, I, I started, changed substitute teaching and became a para. And um, it's a little bit more consistent on the money. Um, I still want to finish my degree. But in the meantime, we finished school out. Sorry for the lisp there. We finished school out and then at the end of school, like the weekend before school ended, um, I started having some really pretty bad pain. And I, I didn't put anything up on Facebook, so hardly anybody knew. Um, I had a couple of special friends that kind of knew, but I just, I didn't want to broadcast anything. And so, because um, I didn't know what was going on really, found out that I had kidney stones, or a, I should say a half inch kidney stone. And so I was in quite a bit of pain and everything, but I managed to get through that weekend because I spent three days in the hospital. They put a stent in um, from my kidney down to my bladder on Sunday, Sunday, and I came home, stayed home all day Monday, and then started going back to school and working a half a day. And by Friday, I was able to do a whole day. I was so excited and so happy. And then I made it through the following week um, pretty good because um, they did lithotripsy on my bladder the following week or on that stone the following week and um, stayed home the day of that one because I mean I was doing the lithotripsy so not very easy for me to go to school um, and be two places at once but anyway we got all that done um, I'm doing much better still have the stent in at this time um, but I'm not in, not generally in as much pain as what I was originally. So, um, very, very, very thankful for that. In the meantime, um, I'd like to show you guys kind of what's going on around here. Um, I've been, I have through all this, I have been working and doing some things. Um, here is what I have of my garden. Um, I bought a whole bunch of strawberries. And not one of them, I bought two sets, and not one of them from Walmart has produced. They're all dead. Um, my, a dear friend of mine um, gave me these petunias, and um, I bought some chocolate mint. My mother bought some roses for me, and so I split them up, and so I have two planters now with roses, one for my daughter, one for me. There's some chocolate mint down there for my daughter because she wanted some. This is one of my plants that I'd had in the house and it was it was doing okay, but I wanted to make it better. Well, we've had so much rain over the last few months that it didn't, or the last few weeks it hasn't. There's an aloe vera plant my daughter had bought. Here's the dill that I planted. I planted mammoth dill and it has, it. oh, it smells wonderful. I just, I wish you could smell it. It just, it smells so good. I've got, like I said, the roses are back there. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm thinking this is oregano. I think it just came up late, but I'll find out a little bit later. That's just a weed, I know that. Unless somebody else knows what that, you know, if it's not, let me know. Here's my cilantro, my cilantro is doing good. I probably need to thin it out a little bit and replant, but I've already used some of it, as you can tell there. I needed some cilantro the other day for some salsa and I used it for that. This is parsley. I wanted to go ahead and get some parsley for like um, salads and stuff. Then I think this is rosemary in here and I don't think my tarragon made it at all. I had some stuff in that and it just didn't work. But on my other garden I had gotten all of this de-weeded. My irises came up and looked so beautiful. I need to cut them back now and um, start planting some other stuff. I want to plant some some beautiful uh, flowers and herbs that Tessie sent me, Homestead Tessie. She had a deal where she gave everybody a whole bunch of stuff whenever she reached a 
certain number of people. So I was very excited about that. And so I've got some coxcomb from her and some other stuff. Um, these were my purple irises. I had a white iris here. It was a white, almost like a bluish color. Then my onions are doing good. I have a little bit of um, asparagus that I've replanted. And all of this was de-weeded before I went into the hospital. And now you can't tell, we've had so much rain. And I'll, I'll tell that story in a little bit. I've got some irises behind. This is a four o'clock right here. And then had some more white irises back there. And all these little plants here are little four o'clock plants that I'll be pulling up, except for that one that's ivy, I do believe. That's four o'clock. I did not pull this one because um, the bulb itself is about as wide as that right there. It is just huge. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna keep that four o'clock because they spread like crazy. And I finally cut this tree down. I, it was trying to take over here. And I've got another big four o'clock there. I, I've got to decide whether I want to keep it or get rid of it. And those four o'clocks, I will probably try to take out if I can because it's trying to take over that area. The other day, um, I trimmed up those trees right there. And this isn't as impressive today, okay? Because yesterday and Tuesday, or yesterday was Tuesday, yesterday and Monday, um, this was underwater. All of this was underwater. It has finally soaked in. Even yesterday, it was still, we still had a huge amount of water. You could not see the grass because the water was so thick. It was, it was burying that little thing right there. That's, that's how thick it was. It was, we had a lot. And, um, we had, um, well, here's my tomato plants. I decided to try this topsy-turvy and it's doing okay. It's not great. I probably put too many tomato plants in. I thought I'd do one in the top and one in the bottom. And um, it's, uh, I don't think it's liking the two. So I may take this one out and leave these in there and go from there. But I'm still debating on that. Any suggestions would be great though. There's a nice tomato there. Oh, the plant smells so good. Mmm, it, it smells wonderful. So, wish I could, I wish I could let you guys smell it. Oh, mmm, I love the smell of tomato plants. They are just so awesome. But right here where I'm walking, you could not walk because this was all underwater, all of this. Yesterday, you could not, you could not walk over here unless you planned on getting soaked up to your ankle at least. So the water is finally soaking in, but it took a couple of days. And what, what brought this on is Monday. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go through there. That's my, we're still cleaning on this. Um, it's like I gathered up a whole bunch of sticks last year before I was sick and, um, it never got and the kids never got it all picked up. I picked up a lot of it, but it's there's still some left. I'm still trying to clean up around here. As you can tell, it's not it's not the greatest, but it's our place and um the grass isn't mowed right now because um our lawnmower is missing a part. It broke on us the other day whenever we were mowing and so we've got to get a part in and once we get that part in, we will start mowing lawns again cuz it's like they're starting to look a little raggedy and i we've the last couple of years we've been doing lawns and keeping them up and so we like to keep it you know fairly short especially during this rainy season because generally we're having to mow once a week whenever it's rainy like this so um it this this is kind of annoying me i guess in a way because we had kept it up so much and everything but m back to Monday night let me get back to that Monday night we had like three tornadoes come through here and praise the Lord none hit our trailer none damaged any of our property several of my friends um, did get property damage and so a lot of them were west of town and my husband and I actually watched one form 
right over where we were taking shelter and it was kind of it was kind of crazy there for a little bit because we were kind of like okay um once it hits that tree line we're we're jumping down into this cellar and it hit that tree line and we made a beeline inside and we got in and it wasn't 30 seconds later and it, the rain started hitting and it was just like boo and it rained for a long time we stayed down in that cellar probably a good 45 minutes and came up because it seemed like it was all clear and or probably 30 minutes on that time and got it all clear and then turned around and thought okay well we'll go we'll go grab us a bite to eat before the next round comes in the next round sped up and i mean 20 minutes later it was already here and they were saying oh it'll be a good hour so we thought that's that's plenty of time to go get something to eat we came home the kids took the dog in terry grabbed something from the house i went over made sure our neighbors were okay and got back in the car looked at the radar and i'm like terry we don't have time to go there and he's like what do you mean and i said it's there's another one fixing a hit i said there's a there's a great there's a huge heck, hook echo right down here and he's like okay he said so you, you don't want to go to brahms right now and i'm like nope let's just take me back to the cellar you can go back and pick up Gracie and which is our dog and so that's what we did and it was it was crazy there because we got down in the cellar got the door shut and all of a sudden the siren started going off he'd already left and started heading back here but the siren started going off again so we went back you know he he went and got Gracie and came back down and he got back and he's like oh Darcy come here you got to see this because even though the sirens had rung we didn't have any rain yet and that's when we saw that wall cloud with the tornado coming down and it's like it was confirmed by a spotter later on that night um i went to pick up my daughter from work and there was a, one of the spotters in there and he was talking about different things and i told him how we'd had that and he goes oh do you have any footage of it and i'm like yeah i actually do i put it up on facebook so i went and grabbed it and he's like oh wow that's good and so um he's like yeah you can see that really forming well and so he's like, if you could send it to me, would you please send it to me? So I'm like, sure. So I tried to, and I couldn't. Uh, it wouldn't send from my phone. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If you all know, please let me know. But it was really um, a crazy day Monday. So yesterday, we just took it easy. We rested. We didn't do much. And um, it's like, so it's, it was an interesting day, to say the least, on Monday. And then yesterday, just kind of. A lazy day I did get some things done just not as much as I wanted and then today um, I've been focusing on the house because it's as you can tell sky out here is kind of yucky it's kind of dark not real encouraging to be outside <laughs> but I would like to show you one last thing on my list here and um, let me just turn this around this is my peach tree and the poor baby it's still living i need to take these branches off i know um i just with all my illness i hadn't been able to that just happened here i think just a couple of days ago or so because that was not down the other day and it is now and then that one broke oh i'd say about two three weeks ago each time we have a super heavy wind or something it really has come through and blown stuff over and then these are still growing on it so that's why I'm not going to cut it off yet because with me having I've got a couple of them see there's one over there and these are getting to be pretty good size so I figure another month and we'll have some peaches now let me see there it is here's one over there on that one so I'm not I'm not gonna cut this down yet this peach tree um we brought with us my father my grandfather-in-law whenever we first moved down here he was just taking peach seeds throwing them out in the back along the side of his um barn and then whenever they got you know a foot or so tall he'd give them to the grandchildren and he gave us three and this is the only one that has survived poor thing um it's only got one limb now so it's really kind of 
died out, but we still have it. And it's still producing slowly but surely. So I've I've kept it for sentimental reasons. I know I'm guilty. I shouldn't be that sentimental, but I am. I'm hoping to get at least one last harvest on it so that we can plant seeds and you know whenever we move hopefully we'll get to do that sometime praise the lord we didn't have to that's another thing that came up um the last week of school last week we had um my daughter had come home from uh college and she was home doing some cleaning and cooking and stuff and she called me she goes mom the electricity's out in half of the house and i'm like what electricity is out in half the house what are you talking about and she goes I don't know why but it is and I'm like well that's strange so I called Terry and he's like it sounds like there's something wrong at the junction box so he came home checked all of our breakers in the house to make sure that there were no breakers that were you know messed up came over to the junction box and it was melted so he said get a hold of city have them Cut the electricity. So we went and cut the electricity. They literally ripped the meter out. Turned around and we went for like two days. Three days. Because it was Wednesday night. Because it was Wednesday when they told me. So we spent Wednesday trying to get things taken care of. Thursday we had no electricity. And I was at school. And then Friday. So Wednesday night and Thursday night we ended up staying at a motel. Praise the Lord. Terry, Terry We paid for one night and then... Christina paid for another, and then Friday, we finally had gotten a hold of somebody. Um, a guy had come over on Thursday, but um, he told us that it was the wiring in our house. So I'm like, I'm thinking, we're going to have to move, and I'm sitting here bawling and everything, going over to pick up my daughter's friend from Stillwater. And I'm like, Lord, you're going to have to help us because I don't know what to do. So while I'm waiting on uh, the girls to do what they need to do, I'm kind of looking through housing and different things and there's not really anything around here that I really feel comfortable with <laughs> and I'm just like God there's not really anything here that I would like and it's like we're leaving Stillwater and I get a call from um, a, a close friend she's more like family to us and she said Dars um, I've got a friend here that thinks they might be able to um, take they'd like to he'd like to take a look at this because he used to work for the city and he thinks he can tell you a little bit more and I'm like well can't hurt you know I'm already looking at houses now because I mean if this is trash we got to have some place to live better know it now than later so I get back home they come over and he takes a look at it and he goes there's nothing wrong with your house the breaker box the breaker going to your house didn't even pop so I don't know why they told you he said did they go in the house and I'm like no I said we weren't home and he's like they couldn't have known what was going on in your house. And with the breaker not being, you know, popped out here, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, with with the breaker not being blown, he's like, that's not it. He's like, the problem is up here on this other part. And I'm going to flip this around here. This is a new one. But when you came down... There was like uh, melted metal up here just a little bit and then just a whole mess down here that was melted. And so uh, um, he's like, it's not your house. This was put up wrong. Somebody put in aluminum rather than copper wiring. And so the aluminum, you know, just melted. He's like, y your house should be fine. Just have them replace the box and reset it up and you should be fine. And I'm like, praise God. I don't have to move. 22 years we've been here now. And I mean, it's, it's, I, I was not looking forward to moving, even though I want to move. <laughs> I wanted to be on my own terms rather than, you know, it's a have to. And so, um, I was just kind of like, no, 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 no. And it's like, praise the Lord. He, he said that. So I called an electrician the next day because no, I couldn't get a hold of anybody that night. The first electrician said, my arm is busted and in a sling. I can't do anything. So I'm like, okay, I'll call another one. So I called one that my husband suggested. And they said, oh, yeah, we can come over there this afternoon. And I'm like, oh, thank God. 
So that would be awesome because we've already been two and a half days without electricity. And he's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, uh, the stuff in my fridge is probably fried, but oh well. And so it's like he came over, he fixed it. We got the new, of course, the new smart meter had to go in. So hopefully pretty soon here we can, ouch, sorry, mosquitoes. There, with, with the water that we've had, it's just crazy. And speaking of water, let me show you. That was just from the last two days. Monday and Tuesday. And I need to empty it because we don't want any more bugs. There it goes. Some more water to soak in. Don't want any more mosquitoes growing. But anyway, that's kind of our life over the last weeks, the last few weeks and everything. You get to see kind of what we've done around here and how things are going. Here's one of the neighborhood cats that just came out from underneath my porch. They think they um, live here and we put no food out, but anyway, beside the point. So anyway, that's my update. Um, for those of y'all that have been kind of following me and watching and everything, thank you guys so much. Um, Please keep us in your prayers because we're not done with all this yet. Um, we still have a long ways to go. Still got a lot of cleaning to do. And I'm kind of praying about a job. So uh, we would greatly appreciate your prayers. And thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.